Hola amigos, sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been extremely busy with school and work and lots of homework and lots of exams and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, here is a new video of me cleaning up the looks of the EG. I decided to do this video a little bit differently than normal. Um, so let me know what you think and here it is. Take a look. The first thing that you want to do when you're applying vinyl to a surface is wipe it down with wax and grease remover. Right here I'm just trying to get one of the dings out that's caused from the radiator. Next, wipe down the surface with rubbing alcohol. Finally, before you lay your vinyl, wipe down your surface with tack cloth. This will make sure that there's no dust on your surface. The vinyl that I'm using here is possibly the worst vinyl I've ever used. I'm not even sure what brand it is, but once you lay it down, it does not peel back up like normal vinyl. So in order to get all the wrinkles out, we had to make sure that we held it up from the beginning. This final was really a pain. I kept the entire video in here just so you guys can see what I went through when I was laying it. Uh, this video is sped up probably about maybe four hours that you see here in five, six minutes. Using a heat gun makes the vinyl easy to work with. It allows you to stretch the vinyl so that you can get out some of the wrinkles. Right here you can see me pressing out some of the bubbles with my fingertips. At this point, I realized that there was no way that I could get those wrinkles out of the right side of the vinyl without peeling it back. As you can see, like I said earlier, the vinyl sticks really bad, so, and it's very hard to peel up. So, I took about 30 minutes pulling it back right here in order to get those wrinkles out.
This is by far the worst vinyl I've ever worked with. Once you finish laying the vinyl on the top layer, you're going to want to flip over your panel and wrap the underside. This only applies to a panel removed from your car. Once you're finished, trim off all of the excess vinyl. product. Okay. Now I'm going to start wrapping the rear quarters. Once again, don't forget to clean your surface. What I'm using here is called knifeless tape. I'm using this because the body trim there on the side stopped before it gets to the back wheel. I wanted to create a nice clean line along where that trim is. Um, I use knifeless tape so it cuts the vinyl from the underside so you don't have to use a knife against your painted surface. Next, measure for the size of the vinyl that you need. The string in the knifeless tape is what cuts the vinyl. You want to use short, quick pulls to make sure that it actually does cut the vinyl instead of stretch the vinyl. Next, peel off the rest of the knifeless tape.
All right, guys, so I moved to the garage because it is dark outside. Um, by this point, some of you guys might be wondering why I'm doing what I'm doing, wrapping the rear quarters like this. Um, now, as you might have noticed, this car is a little bit ratty, and I really like that look, so I don't plan on really fixing a lot of it. Um, but one thing that I don't think looks good, even on ratty cars, is like a ton of rust. Like a little bit of rust is cool. Like my front fender is rusty and I think it looks sweet. Um, I'd actually rust the whole fender intentionally if um, I knew for sure that I was keeping this car, but I don't know if I am, so um, I might throw it up for sale soon. But uh, so in the rear, what I did so far um, is this was like just bare rust. Like it's not really bad. Like on this side, it's just surface rust right here, but back here is a little bit rusty. Um, so I don't want it to get any worse than that, obviously. So I sprayed it with like rust stop stuff. Um, and, um, I sprayed over it with black gloss just to kind of seal the rust stop. And now I'm just going to wrap over it cause I think it'll look a little bit better than the unmatched paint, which is exactly what I did on the other side. And it actually does look pretty good. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do here and, uh, keep watching. Okay, now, if we take a look at this, it looks a lot better. Obviously, you can see the rust spot there still. But, overall, and this is going to be hidden by the flare right there. Um, that looks way better. Alright y'all, so today I got a new project. Now that I'm done wrapping everything, I'm going to put it, be putting these back on. These are the mud guards. Um, I'm actually a big fan of how these look. I like them a whole bunch. I've been meaning to put them back on, but they just don't really fit with the flares, so I'm gonna have to do some cutting. Now if we take a look here, if I mount this up, and put it up to that. It kind of sits over top the flare like that. My dad's idea was just to bolt it up like that, but I think that looks stupid. So I am going to cut down here and then try to cut along the flare like that so that it sits just perfect in there. Um, I'm going to mark it right here, and then I'll probably take the flare off, lay it on top of here, and trace the, the cut for the flare. All right, guys, so I made a big mistake. Turns out my dad was right. So I cut this. And if you mount it up, like sure that looks okay, except for when you actually push the flare in and the flare sits in further. I thought these stuck out farther than they do actually. If I put this where it's supposed to be, it looks even worse. Let's see. All right, so this is how I have it now. It's not too bad. Um, I wrapped it in electrical tape, but it's cut to go around the flare like that. Um, it looks pretty good, but I think I like it better with it hanging over the flare, because from back here it looks kind of crappy. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get another one of these if I can't. No big deal, but the rest of them I'm going to mount over top of the flares. What's going on guys? I ended up finishing... Uh, the rest of the mud flaps, I put the one over the flare and I didn't think it looked good. Actually, the cut one looked better. So I just cut the rest of them. 
Um, I didn't do them like the one side, so they all turned out a little bit better except for that one, so I might redo it, but here I'll go ahead and show you now. So this is the one that didn't turn out so well. Um, it needs to be redone, but obviously I cut it along here, <clears throat> and then I just kind of taped it together, which I did on the other ones too, but the other ones look a lot better because I did it a little bit differently. So if you come up to the front, we have this one, which is actually probably the cleanest one. So I have this cut right here, and then I actually cut up the center, and I folded this part over and cut off the extra. I don't know, but it, it turned out pretty good. Um, and then if you come over to this side, this one's not as good as that side, but it's still pretty good. And if you come to the back, this is the second one I did, which I cut off too much and had to add some foam so it would fit flush. But that's actually not that bad either. And overall, I think the car looks better with them on it, especially from the back. Because <clears throat> the wheels stick out really far, so it was looking a little bit goofy. The mud flaps make it look a little bit lower than it actually is, and that helps a little bit. So Now what I'm working on is actually I'm going to be painting this. I'm not going to sand it or anything. I'm honestly just going to paint black over it so that it looks better than it does, because it doesn't look that great like that. So I'm going to tape it off and just paint it really quick. Do that on both sides. Alright guys, I'm all done. It still doesn't look the best, but it looks way better than it did because it is all one solid color. Now if I get really close, you can see kind of that it is... I don't know if it'll focus. There you go. You can see some spots on it still, but for the most part, it looks okay. Especially from like five feet. There we go. Look at that. That's it for the work part of this video. Did you like it? Yeah? 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 Like, subscribe, whatever. After completing all this, I went to a local park and did a little shoot. Um, and I will show you guys that now. Check it out. Remember screenshotting pics of her Instagram Then I took her to Milan trying to find out what she into uh, I was just looking for a girl for the winter To practice baby making on them lazy days And I kept her wet on them rainy days Then I let her hang over a little too much And now that was fucked her Can't even blame her on a liquor Just another cold ass liquor Couple too many of them couple looking pictures I make another cold bad bitch Run round screaming niggas ain't shit Cause niggas ain't shit shit and I wish I could prove you wrong or wrong And then maybe Gucci. you could stay the way you are Cause I had a...